Okay, Obodaya and comprehensive secondary school of Bodaya. Odia Nachi, Odia Duruhaku, Yabo, Ayamu, Godia, see. My wife did not have a time which I see. I am Godia, see. No, 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 let me see, see, man. I can let that time wait, eh? Let me see, see, man. Sir. Are you at night? Okay, you're welcome, sir. At night of the church. Is it Molumba or Wu? I'm wearing an Abatabone to the Divine Mercy Model Secondary School. Oh, to look. In the person of. Uh, Mrs. or Wanda Asomta, Ebo Onoma. Ebo Onoma. Onoma Nagele Uhusi. Biko Bora Niaga. Madam. Okay, you want to see? Okay. Hey, my God, Chineke, you don't know that see. Everybody, Tony, move me a patch in Chineke. But you forget that they send you a bit of a chair. So we have only one chair here. You have one of the other chair. I am going to have a talk to you in the College International Secondary School. Sergeant Mrs. Wanderly Roots. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Mind your child, you are welcome. Now, I'm telling you, do the comprehensive secondary school of the government in the personnel almost written in manual. I almost written in the control of the man, in the movie. I don't know, in manual. I is on his way. Now, number two, only to the veteran of Kokpo Memorial Comprehensive Academy in the person of Mrs. Nidia Maka Iguama. Nidia Maka Iguama, is she around? Okay. Rehasa Luka at this 11th hour. Now, number two, only to the I have a secondary school, Lude, yeah. Marcy Brenda Odo. Marcy Brenda Odo. And I will get my bread up. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I am number 28 to the model secondary school, Omar Gregor, yeah. In the person of uh, Samuel. Akoga. Eh? Akanga. Eh, Boga Dicha, I hear the day here. Biko Omo School. Pronounce for me A, K, and G, A. How will get it? That is what is written here. Samuel, I learned to get a Kalabama. When I'm in Kotaria, I'm in Kotaria. All we know, who I am for a Samuel A. The man that we laid the model of secondary school of Africa. Please, is it Akanga or Akanja? Akanya. 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 In Yellow Yam, I am good line. In a balance, so model secondary school of Africa can take. And uh, I want to warn those that came first from Ayana and Ekwenazo. Uh, you have to be very, very careful. Otherwise, those that can take can come up as first today. Okunomama, Nehina, 
Ane mencunya bau roh gini Konyi bahasa gonya gini Bau roh bebek about Tom So let us get a man at this juncture Kora dendi kusia nyaka pikoni Kora dendi kusia nyaka once more Or somebody throwing 
a point or some point from behind from any school, I will deduct 10 marks from you. I don't know any face. I know I have I know all the schools and their teachers. Even if you are my brother or sister or relation, I don't know you here yeah, now. If you are here, I don't know you. Until after this competition, you can be my brother or sister outside to make sure that there is justice, there is fairness, there is no bias, and there is no partiality. Then the students, remember, we will give you the paper or uh, the numbers to pick. You are six in numbers, in numbers. We will eliminate three schools immediately after the debating. And the first three schools will go for the final um, argument or discussion according to the topic you picked. So when we call you the first three schools, the, the, the first school will sit here, the other school will sit here, you face each other according to group, because we have group one and two and three. Then after that, you leave the seat, you make our point, our judgment, other schools will come up um, accordingly. So we will give the numbers and ask you to come and pick. We are representatives who will come and pick the numbers so that you will know the, the school or your opponents. You will know whether you are proposing or opposing, and you will know the topics. We have given out the topics to be discussed, and that's why we wrote it on the board so that you can see it and you can have a few minutes discussion with your teachers. And the first one is, is this. And the first topic goes this way. Science has done more job, more science has done more good than harm in the world. Of course, this is the era of science, scientific explosions. So, I think you have learned a lot in your various schools about scientific discoveries, innovation. So, science has done more good than harm in the world. If you are proposing, you tell us the good that science has done. If you are you argue in the other way around. Um, on the other way around. Number two question is this. Government and, teacher, government and teachers are to be blamed for high rate of examination malpractice in schools. I think I want everybody to listen to this. I deliberately choose, chose this question so that we open our eyes on what is happening in our schools during external examinations. I visited some schools during our midterm break, all the schools. I had an interview with some principals and what I heard is quite alarming. If care is not taken, our school will close. Our schools will close based on internet and leakage of examination. So we have to we have to work on this now. If we can find solution to this, and that's why I deliberately put this up. But I know that there are some schools who are doing well. Yes, I know, no doubt, not all schools. So we have to find out whether government and teachers are to be blamed for high rate of examination malpractice in schools than parents and students. You propose, you have, you propose, the other school will propose. Then, number three question, religion has done more good than harm in the society. You can take your country, Nigeria, as an example. So, here we go. You can come and pick your questions. So, I want to invite the MC to invite uh, the schools that we completed today, or I will help you out. I think in the first school, I will the first school I will invite uh, Bertrand to come for. Bertrand, after Bertrand will come for more, will follow. Um, Lucy Amusi will follow. Um, a comprehensive secondary school of the Kamweke. Um, Ahias secondary technical school, secondary school will follow. And the last school, but not the least, what that the name? Um, Model secondary school. Please, uh, you can come, your representative can come and pick your numbers so that you know your group. Thank you very much. All friends of Ndoka Anyamu Foundation, you are all welcome to this great occasion today. All the directors of Ndoka Anyamu. Foundation. All the women, Afghan women leaders of IASUP, Senegal, Legal Government. Okay, this laptop is inside. Diana Batagwanu. Mbini Le Ihoma 
Nabi mana naya sumbise, ayah nana batu kudu. Ana mana batu kudu zombi ce, mata kudu nyonyo jadi serai ke. Kode desi ke, ayah nana batu kiri jenang dojui. Ahora me cambiará me en el lugar de ojo O me cambiará me en Allá en la batalla de uno Pretes, guagua Articulante de ella Eso hay un plan de la gente No, no hay un plan de la gente 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 a great man, a wonderful philanthropist, a man of honor, a dignity, a wonderful man. Please join me as we make welcome the chairman of this foundation, Chief Ndoka V. A. Anamu. We can put our hands together as a family to take his seat. Our man. Our man. Our Hello, am I communicating? 
Yes, I'm coming to the debate as well. Listen attentively. So you make no mistakes. These are the panel of judges. This is the moderator. And of course, you have the timekeeper very close to him. And all the members of the high table are also part of the panel of judges. So you can observe from the high table, and I believe they are seeing everything. So we want to ensure that there is transparency. Yes, I'm part of it also. I will join the panel of judges. So to ensure that there is transparency and nobody will feel cheated. So we have to make this agreement to make sure that everything goes well. So please walk accordingly. Thank you very much. I will have to hand over the microphone back to the moderator. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Eustace. Thank you very much. So, uh, what's rule number one and school number four? Come and pick their position. Pick school number one and four. Two, come and pick their position. That is motion proposed or opposed. We are picking it for yourself. What do you get? You will be more opposed. Proposed, right? Okay. You have given. So, you know, as you are doing justice to the topic, Lucy will be opposing and model will be proposing. Thank you. We we'll give you five minutes. Look at people on the street. They don't know that when you, when you see somebody, when you are in need, first of all, help someone. 
the more you give, the more you receive. The issue of us that when we see people homeless, we make we make available spaces for them in our home. Before you see people on the way, so see the market stores. Maybe it's not missionaries that build these stores in the market for us. If not, if the new elective would have been in the in the open space like this, with washing sun and everything, under the under the mercy of the weather, the little has not put the water in the new.
In Nigeria, we have two types of religion, the Christianity and Islamic religion. And this religion has helped in a great way, in great ways to improve and do good and harm in our society with the glory points of mind. Firstly, Western education. The, the, the missionaries that came into Nigeria in the early days were the people that brought about education in Nigeria. That is why we are educated today and live. That's why we are educated today. They help to inculcate knowledge of what we are meant to know. Living the evil traditions which have been practiced in the past, in the old times. Second, quality education. The bringing of the Western education in Nigeria today has helped. And the religion itself has their own schools where they bring us students who are law abiding and responsible in the society. They give quality education to their students. Their teachers are dedicated and they teach their students the things and good morals which are meant to be in a citizen. They help in bringing responsible individuals that help in the improvement and development of the country. Provision of basic abilities to the society. Religion has brought about hospitals and schools, as I, as I have said, into the society, which are set in the development of the society. In our communities today, many of us we are just need that really many churches have brought about both four holes and all the good things we are seeing in our society today. What brought about it? It is religion. Another one is that religion has Many voice has brought voice to the voiceless in the society. Many people now have the, the mind and the um, opportunity to bring up their voice. And the opportunity to bring, to set their mind and express their feeling even in the world. They have brought one to the hopeless. They have made scholarship for students who are less privileged. These are all the goods that religion has done in our society. I believe with this following three points of mine, I have been able to convince you and not to confuse you that religion has done good than harm. Thank you.
religion has done as well in the society. You know, this argument seems to be a kind of complicating because we don't understand the concept of what we are talking about. Because, you know, a native doctor, native, uh, that, that is his own religion. Christians, Christianity is their own religion. Muslims, is Islamic religion is their own. So you can't say that religion is only present or Islamic. Anything you believe and anything you cross, that is your religion. So if I may continue with that, I will tell you that religion has done us more good, more good than harm in the society. Because let's use it, let's see it in this aspect. Religion has helped in the reduction of crimes. Okay, let's use a native doctor as an instance. A native doctor will be afraid or, you know, a native doctor can be conscious of the fact that the gods will get rid of him if he does something wrong. And this will bring to him, you know, this will bring him down to the essence of being humble. A Christian will be conscious of the fact that God hates him. So a Christian will reduce his will reduce the rate of evil in his life. That is a, that is what I'm talking about. Religion has brought discipline, moral, and so many other goodies in the society. Also, religion, okay, you are my opponents are saying that religion is wrong. But can you believe with me that there are 10 churches every Sunday? The Muslims go to mosque every, every day, they feel like going there. That is their own religion. But they are still claiming that religion is not good. How does it make sense now? You must to get, you must have to get with me. The religion makes sense. Religion crosses goodies in the society. You are paying church and you are still claiming that religion is not good. You are paying Muslim and you are saying, my dear, you are, these things are still confused, okay? You see, religion has not made it good in the society. Religion is not good. Impacting morals into, into the citizens. Religion has impacted morals, just as I said before. It helps people to calm down and believe in what they ought to believe. Like my opponent, or my colleague also said, it brought about education. Without religion, you just be like the sheep that is being, that is being carried into slaughter because you have no direction. My dear, religion has done us more than that. I know, despite the great controversy, 
transfer this new religion. You guys try to prove that they, they do preach the same thing. Yes, we, we all, both the Christian and the Muslim, serve the same girl. But that is a different. The Islamic belief in Prophet Muhammad. Why the Christian belief in Jesus Christ? With these few points of mind, I hope uh, I have been, I hope you all are confused. With these four few points of mind, I hope you all are confused and not confused that religion has done us more harm than good. Thank you. I want to warn. I want to warn again. And everybody here will be my witness. If I see any noise, contribution coming from any angle, I will just identify that and with a type of uniform that school is wearing, and I will deduct 10 marks from that school.
them, he now, because nobody could come to them, and they could not be sent out because many of their parents live far away. Is it not the same Muslims that did so? Probably.
which has done more good than harm in our society. And I think I've been able to compute all that thing for us. And I've been able to bring big and not to bring us that science has done more good than harm in our society. Thank you very much.
you can say you can operate your computer, you can, te you can telephone someone that is abroad through the work of science. So we need a few points of mind. I believe I have cleared the mind of all that so that science has done more good than harm. So what? Thank you. Oh, 
market, Mr. Moderator, in line with what my colleagues have said, and in view of all this, my indisputable point, I stand strongly and vehemently against that motion that said science has done more than harm in the world. I rest my case. co-debaters and audience for giving me the opportunity to round up my points. I never stand here today to, to talk on high rate of accidents. I overheard her talking about high rate of accidents. It depends on who is driving the car that brings about the high rate of accidents. You, you need not take drink nor smoke before driving the car because it is illegal by the constitution of the law. I also heard her talking about the teachers making use of their phone in, in, the, in the school or when when giving the students lectures. During that occasion, you don't talk about that because in your school it is also possible that your teacher gives able to teach you. She has to browse, she has to go into researches, she has to get more facts to teach you, to impact knowledge into you. <laughs> yes, science has done more good than harm to us in the society. Because without transportation and communication, we can't get to where we are going to. All those abroad, we speak to them through food, we communicate, we chat with them, just to know how we are doing, or to tell them about what is happening here. Then, you can't tell me that you have students abroad who don't, who you don't have, know how to communicate to them, except through internet. Because you have to call them, or either you do video call, or normal call with them, to know how they are bearing, or know what they are doing over there. And there, another point is that, I overheard that saying that it is that internet has done no harm than you. That's a lie. Because when we are being given assignments, we are going to go through more research. And if you were during this time of pandemic, it was only those who have the idea about the internet that are able to get more knowledge. We need to talk about the internet. Knowledge international. I think you have the advantage of you know the last thing I saw. Uh, we have seen the first people, the first seat. Now, come and be. Um, you are proposing. Uh, we, our music is proposing. And modern international is proposing. And they will talk, uh, talk of government and teachers and to plan for high rate of examination of practice in, uh, in schools than parents and schools. An interesting topic. Let's hear them. Thank you. On the opposing side. And the last speaker from the opposing side. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Panel of judges, our great timekeeper, my good debaters, and distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Good job. My name is Dela Chukwesu, and I am a student of Knowledge International School. I am here to propose the motion which says that government and teachers are to blame for high rate of examination and practice in school than parents and students. First of all, we know that some teachers, when they come to class, they don't spend much time, they don't try their notes. Instead of expatiating and trying to teach their students what they've written on the board, they don't come to classes write down the notes without explaining any single thing to their, to their students. And you said that to help them grow. How? Our parents are, our parents are the cause of this. Secondly, greed. Some teachers are so greedy that they don't want to pass out their knowledge to other students. But they expect them to go out successfully in their examination. How is that possible? We know that Every successful man needs the help. And without the help of our teachers, how would we be able to pass our exams? That is why most of the students engage themselves in the examination of practice. Thirdly, laziness of some teachers leads to exam of practice. When we have teachers in schools, instead of coming to classes, they begin staying at the staff room saying all sorts of words without remembering they have classes to attend. How is that able to help our students without making them engage in examination or practice? We all know that the government also helps in making examination or practice because when they are 
unable to pay teachers their salary. This helps to moralize teachers from trying to explain and trying to teach students their wealth. Like my colleagues said here, that, that students don't work for practicals and other things due to teachers and government inabilities to provide facilities. That is true, because most students today don't even know how to do the practical aspects of what they are learning. Like we have in our schools today, we go for motivational works, we do different things in the society due to we have the experience. But when you don't have experience to do all this without getting the knowledge in our school, we will all be confounded in the With this very much of mine, I know I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that the examination of practice, that government that teaches us to play the higher rate of examination of practice in our school. Students always in the examination of practice. 
they want to get better certificates and to get employment. Thank you. 
My name is Bogus Kumas, I'm the Respect of College International School, and I'm here to propose the motion which says that government and teachers are to them for the high rate of intervention and practicing with parents and students. Before I proceed, I would like, we all know what government is, parents, teachers and students, no need for that. Firstly, let's go to my point. Firstly, Government and teachers are responsible for the high rate of examination and practice than, par than, parents and, than parents and students because the government do not provide qualified teachers and experienced teachers. When the government provides qualified and experienced teachers, there is no need for a child to engage with herself in examination and practice because they are being taught well by the teachers. Secondly, bad behavior from teachers. If you have a bad behavior as a teacher, you know whatever you do, the students are looking up to you. When you don't behave well, the, the, the students do not expect you from you. For example, you can see a teacher because of the school, the school starts from 6 maybe and ends by 12. The teacher goes around going to bar, drinking, having fun because they have the one to spend, spending a little money and instead of staying at home and making notes for the students. And at the end of the day, the teacher comes to school and starts teaching nonsense. The teacher will not have enough things to teach to the students. How will you expect your students to pick up? When you go to the bar every week, you will relax and you will learn. How do you expect your students to pick up? Thirdly, the government are not providing facilities needed in the school. When you don't provide the library facilities like the computer, the biology lab, the physics lab, the chemistry lab, no practicals are being taken in the school. How do you expect the students to know what they are talking about? Will you just come to school, you will teach, 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 you will practicalize what they are taught. They will not know how to use the computer. Nothing, nothing. Then when it comes to examination, you will expect them to do those things you didn't teach them. They will have to participate in examination and practice. Fourthly, teachers and government are the cause because, because of love of money. The government have this lot of money that they can't give out money, they can't pay salaries to the teachers. When you're a teacher and they don't pay your monthly salary, will you teach the students well? And when your students are not taught well, they will not pass. They will not pay you, you will not teach, and they will not pass. That is the normal thing. When they pay you, you will teach and they will pass. Fourthly, teachers, fifthly, Teachers and government are responsible because the teachers are not paying attention to their students. For instance, in government schools now, the teachers will just be like, because they're not paying us well, then I'm not going to teach my students. Is it proper? With this point of mind, I'm sure that every thousand common students agree with me that government and, government and teachers are the cause of the exam and practice. Seriously, to be 
their daughter or son to be a medical doctor. So they force their children to come and be a cross the labor life one day, which they are never good in. So to this, I'm here to tell you that the cause of the parents and the students that the examination of practice is being is being encouraged in our society. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We are to get our first and second and third position, no, first position in each group. So we we'll put heads together with the other judges and try to and find out who can first in each group. Then after that, you know, we can go for first, second position with direct question for personal discussion. So with that question, we will come out to the teachers today, we will come and teach people about that topic you are discussing. So now we have 10 minutes break for us to put that's why that's why I'm giving the break. So when we are giving 10 minutes break for group pictures and I know students would like to have pictures of honorable and all that. So as the judges are tabulating, you have 10 minutes to Okay, I'm going to take this one for the pictures. Thank you very much. And our brother Stanley, Olo Mbete. And what's the name of Oma Mbete? What's the name of Oma Mbete? What's the name of Oma Mbete? I have the second place who got 63 marks. Clap for them. And models, models second place who got 75 marks. So in that group, models second place who get first. You are standing for the last competition. Uh, the competition between Amuzi, uh, Ugi Amuzi, and Knowledge International, that was a little bit tight. That's the result that gave us a little bit tight, you know, calculation. Please, I think we also did well. Uh, Ugi Amuzi got 69 points. And Knowledge International got 70 points. In that group, it was a very tight something, but first position was a man. So, uh, Knowledge International will go and copy the secondary school, and Bertrand will come for Memorial Secondary School. Bertrand will come for Memorial Secondary School, he got 73 marks. Why comprehensive secondary school got 71 months? So, I think Mandela, Mandela second, Mandela first, I think something, only will have something for you. I think it's not easy to come out and represent your school. You have, some of you have self, you have sold yourself people watching you. You understand? And if this thing goes online, or people post it online, or whatever, we can even pick a student and give us a scholarship because you did wonderfully, wonderfully well at the mission. So that you will hear them, you will take the point, you will, come, you will even jot their own point. Please, listen attentively so that there will be no complaints or arguments or grudges. Thank you very much. We are inviting number one school to come and provide solutions to unemployment in the country. Number one, that is better to go for the various of the solution. Thank you. Remember, this is we are want to get the first position. Good day everyone. I am here prepare my solutions to unemployment in our country. First of all, what is unemployment? 
As we all know, unemployment is a situation whereby no one has no job to work and to regularly partake in, to have funds to raise and to train his family or his children in school. So therefore, I am here to propose my solutions to this pending and this capital which has eaten deeply into the fabrics of our nation. My first solution is the government should pro provide proper funding for the individual. The government should also provide empowerment processes for all individuals in our country. Individuals should be given the right to express their minds. Secondly, our teachers. Our teachers should inculcate in our students the morals of discipline, honesty, and trustworthiness in order to make them reliable, cooperative, and trustworthy individuals of our society. And if they are reliable and trustworthy individuals of our society, what else would bring about the situation of unemployment in our country? So to say, my answer is nothing, because they will strive and subtract to create self-employment for themselves. Individuals should be proper funded by the government in order to help them participate in self-work such as sowing, farming, and so on. The government should also provide cultural and working implements for our farmers in their farms so that they will be able to farm, cultivate, and raise money for the betterment of their future. Thirdly, our individuals should set aside laziness on their part. Unemployment, one cause, one cause of unemployment in our society is laziness. Why do I say so? Because our students are lazy and do not put their minds into their studies. Because if you have put your mind into your studies, you won't be suffering this doom called unemployment. Because you will excel in life and so therefore find an activity to regularly partake in in order to go higher and to soar higher in the future. Lastly, for my solutions to unemployment in the country, of our teachers. My dear teachers, I would like to encourage all of us here to inculcate in ourselves the art of discipline, the art of hard work, the art of trustworthiness, the art of reliability, so that we will be able to raise future individuals, reliable individuals, trustworthy individuals, honest individuals for the betterment of our society. With this, I rest my case.
youth environment skills. Like for example, how our honorable chairman is empowering, is empowering this debate and competition for us. We are very limited, aren't we? We are. Without the help of me, without his help, we wouldn't be here today, we wouldn't do anything. These are skills. What I'm saying are skills. You can make it, you can learn it, you can teach it. That's why you're just here every day. Study, public enlightenment. Public enlightenment. Government should create public enlightenment to enlighten the youth, to enlighten the people on all these crimes that are involving themselves. If they are enlightened in the crimes, then the punishment should go. If you know that if you kill someone, you are going to be killed in return, will you like to kill someone? You love your life, you won't like to kill someone. Or you know that if you kidnap a child, you are going to jail. Will you like to live now? Everybody wants to live a free life. You want to enjoy, go to parties, go to school. So why will you spend your lifetime in prison? Things like that. What's me? Prayers. We know that all these things, if you were human being, you are doing something without you are praying God, without praying, you know you are going nowhere. If you are praying for a better life without praying, you are going nowhere. God is the root of everything. Without God, you are going nowhere. Sixty, greed. You don't need to be greed of your neighbor or your because you see your neighbor using the smartphone, you like to and smash it. You know that if you are greed and if you are jealous of your neighbor for what you never have, that thing will never come to you. You don't write. If you are jealous of your neighbor, you never come to you, even in the Bible. If you are happy with someone, you see someone rejoice, rejoice with the person, you see someone in sex, in the person, you don't envy the person for no reason. Or because you see the person's sorrow and you envy the person's sorrow. You don't 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 envy the
is do what you know you can do best.